Oh well, might be losing the sunlight now, I don't know. Okay, I'm five right, four down. I'm just testing it out, fellas. It worked quite well in WA, but we were a couple of months further on and it was quite sunny there at Coal Mine Beach. Oh, ground good, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, have I not got that on? Spot coloured, there we go. You know, they talk about um, uh, salinity to do with uh, frogs, you know, they, they found that with Australian frogs, uh, they were losing quite a, a few Australian frogs due to uh, uh, not enough salinity in the uh, places where, in the habitats or thing. Apparently, or, or so, so it seems. I think I've got a different angle now, completely different angle. You know, it all ties together and related, but uh, ties to WA and everything so uh, as I said I did a few basic experiments I'm just sitting there thinking geez this, this is moss I didn't you know two de two basic types of moss sitting there you know on these little floating platforms I made out of their milk bottles cut down sort of thing and um, I'm thinking Jesus that's the equivalent to 44 grams to the litre you know uh, uh, osmolarity in quotes salt in quotes sort of thing uh, that's one and one third seawater strength and they look happy as Larry. But I did see um, a YouTube clip. If you type in um, uh, silicon sealer or something like that, uh, sodium, is it sodium or potassium silicate or something? Um, and they spray it on this dormant moss and it just like comes back to life in seconds sort of thing. I'm thinking, oh, there's more to this than meets the eye. Yeah. And there's a hell of a load of cabal shit out there. And uh, I think it's all coming to head. But the one that really stands out in my mind, that really says, is this a conspiracy theory or not, is the Terminator gene coming out of Monsanto. Yeah, why would they do that? You know, and they fully admit that it's true. So it's not a conspiracy that they actually engineered a Terminator gene. Yeah. <laughs> and what's going on with Bill Gates, you see? You know, what's that video online of him rocking in a chair at some sort of uh, legal deposition that happened somewhere around the, you know, when they had all that uh, legal wrangle with Microsoft or anything, and he's rocking in a chair like a little kid or something? I mean, are they going to say that's a deep fake? But no, they're, they're <laughs> I mean, that's, 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 that's long ago, that was almost 20 years ago now. I mean, hmm, yeah, as I was saying the other time, I think, uh, I think I've already got rid of quite a few of these people. I mean, uh, you know, are they wearing contact lenses with their eyes or their eye colour actually changed, you know? <laughs> I mean, I mean, they've got that one of uh, Hillary Clinton in the car. They, they say that she's sitting on someone's lap and I say, I can't see anyone that she's sitting on, I mean, but she's got such a you know, a fearful look on her face. Was it, that, that's it, um, well, they're just carting off to, for the execution and that's why she's got such a, a shot look on her face. No, no, yeah, <laughs> this is for those people that died in Benghazi. Yeah, no, 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 this is, you see, this is a last car ride sort of thing. You, you ain't coming back, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then they show the footage of uh, one of these people being, you know, uh, uh, you know, pushed around and, you know, all that sort of ISIS shit they do with people over there in those, uh, you know, <laughs> shithole countries, basically. Uh, you know, the one that really sticks in my mind, if you go, is one of those bloody cartel things. There's this young lass, you know, and they just t they cut her head off sort of thing. And I think that's the one. Every time you don't want me to press the button or, or, or pull the lever or something, show me that video again. Go on. And, you know, am I ever going to not feel like pulling the, pressing the button or pulling the trigger when I see that video? You know? <laughs> yeah. I doubt it. You know? Give me a good reason for taking the easy way out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
is going on here, fellow? Is it Palm Sunday or something? And they're making a little bloody... So, yeah, it's a bit odd. There's some sort of marker for orchids or something. I don't know. Dad, it's some animal's going to take you from there and go all the way to the path or eat it over there. No, I think it's more like... But, jeez, we're a long way from Palm Sunday, aren't we? I don't know. Oh, oh this is just... Maybe it's locked down or something. They're so bored, they're making baskets out of bloody things. <laughs> you know, they're making baskets out of... <sighs> Santeria fronds, if you want to go on fronds. Um... You know, this look, as I said, yeah, serpentine area. This looks like patches you get in uh, uh, Uncle River National Park. So, uh, yeah, it's all the clay sort of stuff. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, they talk about these, they talk about stunted trees and vegetation in serpentine areas. Uh, if you really want to get into the subject, you know, a good, good stepping stone is that uh, Robert Richard Brooks, uh, New Zealander. Uh, yeah, good book to get into. Being tr he took all the then known foreign language uh, papers and got them translated and, and put them into English, basically, and condensed it down into this, like, re reviewed tome called Serpentine and Its Vegetation. Yeah, spelled correctly without the apostrophe, of course, because most people <laughs> I think you got to, you know, I think they want to put it into the possessive for some reason. But it's uh, it's a common and easy mistake to make. But anyway, so uh, we are all fallible fellas. Uh, but I think some people actually make use of that, and I think that's that's true evil. Yeah, one of the signs of true evil is people take advantage of commonalities, you know, you know. And some some of these phrases. What was the one I came up with the other night? One of these common phrases, and I thought that's just not true. Um, I can't remember what it is now. I might think about it later on in the journey. I can sort of feel it in my mind, but I haven't quite got there yet. But if I might find it on another clip but it was it just came up the other night it's, it's this common statement that they make and i'm thinking it's just suddenly struck me that's just not true <laughs> you know one of these like the stitching time saves nine sort of thing well that's okay i mean that's that's true but it was just like one of these other ones and i'm thinking you know, just on the surface it's it's blatantly false or you know wrong <laughs> and yet you know you've heard it for years and i'm thinking yeah you know there's a lot out there, fellas, in the world, and um, oh, I think we're gonna. Oh, I think we're gonna find out a hell of a lot. Uh, uh, they posted now something around July the twenty second. I think oh, twenty second. Yeah, it's four exactly four months from George Washington's birthday. Um, it's also ten days now exactly on when the 